Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks to everybody that's already subscribed. And if you haven't yet, if you enjoy the videos and want to see more tips and tricks for traveling, then hit subscribe underneath and you'll make me very happy. So today's video is all about how to survive long haul flights. I know some people hate them. I've actually got to the point now where I really enjoy flying. Basically for me, it just means that I'm on the way to somewhere exciting. So I don't mind being on a plane and I actually prefer being on a long haul flight rather than a short haul flight because you tend to get more facilities, more entertainment, certainly more food and drink and a little bit more leg room. So today I'm going to go through some of my ideas and tips for how you guys can survive your own long haul flights. Okay, so my very first tip is to check in in advance and try and select your seats. Now you can't do this with all airlines, but usually you do have the opportunity to select where you want to sit on the plane. Now for me, I tend to prefer sitting next to the window. I like the window seat. You get a nice view. You get to lean against the window as well, so you can actually get a lot more sleep. I know for some people, they don't like to have the window seat because it means that if you do need to get up to go to the bathroom, you have to push past loads of other people. But if you can hang on, certainly for quite a lot of the flight, then I definitely recommend the window seat because then you're not going to be disturbed by other people. My next tip is to remember that just because you have selected your seat doesn't mean that you necessarily need to stay in it for the entire flight. If you're on a flight that's not too busy and if there is lots of room and seats around you, then as soon as that seatbelt sign goes off, it's fair game. You can move around the plane and move to different seats where you've got a bit more room. Quite often they say that they balance it when you take off, but as soon as it's in the air and the seatbelt sign has gone off, make sure you move around and find a seat with a little bit more room. I've been on many long haul flights where I've seen an entire row of four seats completely empty. And as soon as the seatbelt sign's gone off, I stand up, move to that seat, and I've actually laid out completely and gone to sleep for over seven hours on some flights. If you are lying out on the plane and you don't want to be disturbed, make sure you put your seatbelt on. So what you can do is lie right out, put some pillows at one end, stretch the seatbelt as wide as possible, and then turn onto your side and strap yourself in. So you're still technically wearing your seatbelt, but you're laying down, you can go fast asleep, and you're not going to be disturbed by the air stewards and stewardesses. Another tip is even if you've been allocated certain seats, when you check in, if you check in with a person at the airport, do ask if there's any opportunity to move into an emergency exit seat. Quite often people just won't ask and they'll have these available, but if you can ask at the check-in desk, they'll often move you into these positions if you're nice and ask them. Equally, if there's somewhere specific that you want to sit on the plane, like maybe you want to sit right at the back, there's a benefit to this as well because it means that you can recline your chair straight away and nobody's going to complain because there's nobody behind you. Now I know that you'll read quite a lot online of people saying that you shouldn't have any alcohol at all on a flight and it'll help you feel less jet lagged when you arrive. To be honest, I don't really agree with this. I think sometimes it's quite nice, quite relaxing and a bit more enjoyable to have a glass of wine or a gin and tonic or something like that with your meal. It is quite nice to sit there and watch a movie, have a drink, and I think it could make you enjoy it a little bit more. Definitely though, don't go overboard on the alcohol. It's not gonna help anyone on the flight. You certainly need to stay hydrated and this will help you feel better when you get off the plane. So along those lines, although obviously you can go up and down and get as much water as you want when you're flying, I would always recommend that you do take your own bottle of water from the airport onto the plane and then you can stay hydrated. You don't need to keep getting up out of your seat, pushing past people or waiting in any queues. Another tip is even if you haven't been given these when you're flying, quite often airlines do actually provide things like toothbrushes and earplugs, eye masks, socks, everything like that. So don't be afraid to ask when you're in the air if they have any provisions like these. For me, it does make the flying a little bit nicer if you've got something like a toothbrush so you can brush your teeth when you would do normally on the flight. This also goes for snacks as well. Some airlines will come around with the snacks, but I know others, certainly things like Etihad and Emirates, they do have a snack bar that you can actually get up and go to and help yourself. It does make the flight for me a little bit more fun if you get to have some tasty snacks on the way. 
One aeroplane tip that I thought was fairly obvious, but I've flown with a few people recently that didn't know this, a lot of long haul flights on the aeroplanes, they have headrests that you can actually move. So when you get on, they'll be flat against the back, but you can actually pull them up to the side like this, and then you've got your own inbuilt headrest. I know not all planes have these, but a lot of them do nowadays. So make sure you actually adjust the headrest so you're comfortable and move it up and down so you can get a little bit more sleep. Along the same lines as this, if you can, and if you've got one, bring along a neck pillow. It's certainly not gonna feel like you're lying down, but it will give you a little bit more comfort and something to rest your head on when you're on a long flight. If you're someone that's got Netflix or Amazon Prime or indeed Spotify, another tip is to make sure you download some options to watch offline. You can save entire playlists on Spotify and you can download a certain amount on Amazon Prime and Netflix as well. So even though there'll usually be a lot of entertainment on a long haul flight, if you do have a particular show that you really want to watch, download it in advance, bring your headphones, and then you can sit back and enjoy your favorite show while you're flying. Equally, if you are someone that does blogging or anything like that, try and make the most of your time flying. Quite a lot of airlines nowadays do actually have plug sockets underneath the seat so you can keep your laptop charged or your phone charged while you're flying and make the most of the downtime. Catch up on some articles, edit some photos, edit some vlogs, make the most of your time. My final tip for now for surviving long haul flights is making sure that you dress in something comfortable. Don't be wearing tight jeans like these, try and wear something a little bit looser, a little bit more comfortable, and then you can move around and you won't feel restricted. Equally, your body does actually swell when you're flying, so your legs will swell, your feet will swell, so if you've got something looser on, you're definitely going to be more comfortable throughout the flight. So these are my tips for today. I've got plenty more, so if you have enjoyed them, comment underneath and I'll probably do another video for you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.